it does stuff. Um, it one, it makes me look taller, which is important and useful. Uh, but Hello, my name is Mike. Welcome to my workshop. I want to do a quick video about something I made at DEF CON, the hacker convention. I was just there at DEF CON 30 a few weeks ago. And if you saw me, you probably saw me with this, well, with this. Referring to this, if you saw me there, you probably were like, "Hey, it's that guy with the the thing on his head." Um, let's talk about let's talk about this thing. I gotta get down low. How's this framing? Okay, so obviously the uh, the kind of focal piece of everything are these two giant eyes. These are Adafruit. Uh, eight by eight NeoPixel grids. Um, and they've got a diffusion layer in front of them to make them look all eight bit and blocky like this. There's actually a project on their website that I can link to um, that I kind of modified for these eyes, but um, we can that later. On the side here is a Raspberry Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi 4, I believe. Um, uh, it's worth approximately $7,000 now. It's the brains. And it is wired into the eyeballs, obviously, and linked into what's back here, which is a giant battery. Uh, yes, it is a battery. It powers everything. Powers everything pretty much all day, which I was happy about. But equally as important, it's a huge counterweight, so this thing doesn't fall off your face, because these are pretty light, but the eyes do have some weight to them. Um, and then underneath this beautiful purple wig here is a Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, that is run to both the power on the battery and then also data on the Pi so it can get more juice from the battery itself. And then here on the other side is a GPS module. So we covered what's on it. Uh, what the hell is it all doing other than looking awesome? Uh, it's monitoring the Wi-Fi. It's, it's reading the Wi-Fi environment with these two big old goofy antenna at the top and then the eyes react. That's the short version. How it actually works is Kismet is running on the Raspberry Pi. And then I have some custom Python code running on there as well, a custom Python service that I wrote that is pulling the Kismet API and getting the alerts back in batches. And then it looks at those alerts and finds the most interesting bit in that batch of alerts and then sends uh, an emotion to the eyes. So here it's getting, I think this is a spoofing attempt it's seeing right now, and it's reacting a little bit confused, but at DEF CON, where there was exploits all over the place, it would look like a heart, or it would laugh, or it would cry, or it does all these motions, and we can, we can do some lovely B-roll on that. The GPS comes into play if you were, you know, it maps the Wi-Fi environment. So you could take your log of the Wi-Fi that this, that this system saw, pair it with the GPS data and upload it to wiggle.net, for example, which would then, you know, aid in the community mapping of Wi-Fi. Um, I had some GPS problems, one in software, but mo mainly because I was indoors and the GPS isn't gonna work very well. Um, two, and actually kind of a bigger problem, this looks ridiculous. And so it's not a very, uh, it, it's a great thing to wear at DEF CON. It's not actually the most, easy to use, uh, you know, it draws a little bit of attention, you may have noticed. Uh, so it's, so the pieces are here to monitor Wi-Fi um, and to log it and to upload it into maps, but it's not exactly the, 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 the maybe the best form for it outside of DEF CON. So yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's Topsy as I call him. Um, and it was a fun project. It took me a few weeks to make and to write the software, the eyes and the animations, getting those right were the biggest challenge, I would say. Um, I was pleasantly surprised at how easy the, the power, um, you know, getting the power all to work was, was pretty straightforward. Um, Kismet, getting that installed was pretty straightforward. Uh, did have some GPS issues, um, but altogether it was a pretty fun little 
low, you know, low risk project. Um, outside of a couple of long nights programming eye animations. But the reaction to Topsy was pretty good. I kind of like talking about it and I love the eyes. So, you know, look, I've got a whole year before the next DEF CON, but I think at this moment, um, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna upgrade him and bring him back. I think he's gonna come back for DEF CON. Um, I think he's gonna have to get new hair because you can't have purple hair two years in a row. Um, I'm gonna try to make him a little more sleek, maybe add, uh, maybe add some, some new features to him. Um, turns out I had a lot of uh, power headroom to play with. Um, maybe some new eye animations. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. But I think, I think, I think he's coming back. I think you can find me again next year. Me and Tops will be, will be roaming, roaming the halls of Caesar's Forums at DEF CON 31. I'm pretty positive of that. Um, if you have any questions, um, technical questions, uh, anything, you can find me. There's, I'll put links in the, in, the, in the description here. You can find me on Twitter. Um, if you want to see some of the code, I'm happy to share that with you. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's it, right? I mean, what else is there to say? What else is there to say? I've been wearing it a long time. Let me take it off. Um, it was fun. It was fun. But yes, Topsy will return, I think, is the upshot of this. Uh, and um, I've got a new rig I'm working on, actually. Is my hair stupid? I've got a new I've got a new rig for a better rig for mapping Wi-Fi that I've been that I've been kicking around since DEF CON. Um, a little more, a little more um, inconspicuous than than this, than this thing here. Um, so maybe I'll do a video on that uh, once I get the, the kinks worked out of that. But for now, for now, for now, go out and make weird stuff. It's fun. I highly encourage people making weird stuff. So get out there, let me see it.